It's an ABC 7 storm track weather first alert. <laughs> Good morning, rise and shine and buenos dias. One thing that we're tracking a really nice day, even though I woke up a little bit more on the salty side. For those of you folks who have yet to find out the prediction with Tyson and Jake Paul, you might want to mute this so I don't ruin it for you just for a few seconds. So I was hoping Tyson would win and he didn't win. So that's why I'm a little bit salty this morning, but hopefully I'll get over it. Life goes on. So one thing we are tracking today is going to be a really nice day, folks. It's going to be sunny skies. We're going to be at a little 70s and we are under the ABCSM first alert, but not for today so if you can enjoy it but one thing that we can also do is prepare for what's to come for this weekend that's Sunday already tomorrow and then Monday so we are having a storm system that's going to push into the borderland it's going to be rain winds windshield and also mountain snow so if you have some furry family members out there maybe you want to bring them in or if they're a little bit too large I mean because sometimes we have horses and cows maybe you want to just make it a little bit more comfortable out there for them especially because we're going to dip down pretty low freezing temperatures that's what's going to feel like and then Las Cruces you're actually going to have some days that you're going to have some freezing temperatures and one thing to also take in consideration are your plants so if they're small enough to bring in that'd be great and if you haven't winterized your house already I'll highly suggest it and turn on that heater because it's going to be pretty chilly so hour by hour outlook we have a UTEP's women's basketball team taking place at 11 o'clock today and if you are going to that that's finally we're going to see 70 degree weather and hour by hour outlook we're going to be in our low 70s peak hour is going to be at 2 p.m. at 74 degrees at Boston and Las Cruces you're going to be right there at 72. So not too far from us all throughout our region. Most of us hanging out in our 70s. Of course, Cloudcroft always being the coolest at 50 degrees for today. So if you are heading over to the Sacramento Mountains or the Gila region, that's one thing you want to take in consideration before you head over there just to prepare because I am tracking the potential snow in that area. And that's because we have a storm system that's going to push into the borderland and the lowland area, which is El Paso, Juarez, Las Cruces, Chapa all of this area we're tracking just rain showers but when it comes to the Sacramento Mountain Gila region more elevated locations we are tracking some snow and that's going to push in late tonight early Sunday morning and how much rain are we actually talking about folks so according to this model the first wave is going to come in already Sunday at 3 p.m. but I'm actually tracking that I can come in as soon as later on this afternoon and evening hours a 10% chance of seeing this this is for tomorrow we have a 60% chance of seeing area wide showers I'm tracking either a half an inch all the way to one inch of rain even though this model isn't as bullish as a prediction I'm giving you so that's one thing to also take in consideration if you can Sunday overall is going to be a day that's overcast stay inside if you're able to unless you're really good at driving I'm not I'm not good at driving in the rain so if you guys can just stay inside one thing we're tracking when it comes to Monday it's going to be pretty chilly and before that look at over here at Rio Doso even though it is showing close to three tenths of an inch I'm actually tracking for Rio Doso in the Sacramento Mountains Gila region anywhere from three to six inches of snow so the future track model brought to you by matches from 74 for today ABC 7 first alert for Sunday and Monday 62 degrees Monday windshield even though it's showing 43 it's going to feel like freezing temperatures are high 20s on this day both in Paso and Las Cruces and then our temperatures are really going to start to dip down and gradually go back up by the end of the week in Las Cruces one thing that you have to take in consideration for the next seven days you're actually going to wake up to some freezing temperatures like that on Wednesday and Thursday morning so just go ahead and prepare Paul. All right, EBC.